Now to a shocking discovery in California's drug trade. Hundreds of San Francisco's dealers are coming to our state from just one place, Honduras. That's according to an 18 month long investigation by our news partners at the San Francisco Chronicle. So let's take you to the small town of Syria Valley. It's in the middle of Honduras. The Chronicle says it's home to a high concentration of people who migrate to San Francisco and ultimately sell drugs. Those migrants are also fleeing poverty in a country with one of the world's highest murder rates. You can see in these pictures that many homes in the Syria Valley are built with images of familiar Bay Area icons, including the logos of the San Francisco 49ers, as you see on the gate there, and also the Golden State Warriors. The Chronicle says most Hondurans reaching the Bay Area find legal work, but in San Francisco, more than 200 Honduran migrants have been charged with drug dealing since 2022. Now you might be wondering, well, why San Francisco? Some dealers said the city's status as a sanctuary city makes it more attractive because it means a lower risk of lengthy jail time if they are caught and convicted. The Chronicle interviewed one dealer who was deported and returned to San Francisco nine times. For its investigation, the Chronicle interviewed 25 Honduran migrants who have sold drugs. Some said they can make as much as $350,000 a year. The Chronicle says all of this is now fueling a housing boom in Honduras as dealers send their money back to their families in their home country. To learn more, you can scan the QR code you see on your screen and read the full investigation, including the story of one mother who fled Honduras and ended up dealing drugs in the Bay Area. She talked with the Chronicle from prison. And again, you can read that full five part investigation by scanning the link. Stay with us for updates on this developing story.